Again, the, the motives of the uh, development diagram is already done. The first part I want to do here is to create a database. Okay? So I'm just going to start that one again. If you don't see any of the tones over here, you can just click on uh, Windows. Then let's say if you want to see services or you want to see output or you want to see projects, just click on this. And in this case, we're going to go to services. Okay, so right click on JavaDB, create a database. Okay, on this one, I'm going to use SMS DB for student management database. And username I want to use is SI, password is pass. P A S S, P A S S over here. Okay, so I will click on OK, and click on OK. So once click, you already created the database over here. And let me just do this. Okay, uh, I wanna uh, extend this a little bit. Uh. Okay, so. Down here you see the connection for that one is generated over here. Okay. Database connection is connected to it's connected to database over there. Okay. It's connected to database. SMS DB over there. Then you're gonna right click on that SMS DB. Connect. Now we are connected to the database that we created just now. And I would like to right click on this one and execute the command. Okay. Right click on this one and execute the command. Then from here we're gonna run all the queries to create the database. Or or if you don't want to, you could you could design you could design the database by by you know clicking on this one tables here, right click create new tables, so on and so forth. But I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna uh, uh, I'm not gonna um, um, create the tables, um, design the tables, but I'm going to code the tables. So we're going to code let's say create tables. Uh, batch, okay, like batch ID int primary key, okay, batch name, variable characters 50, uh, this time, make it simple, so insert into batch, okay, values, this one gonna be one, let's say, uh, batch one, then copy paste this one, uh, just make it two, just make it two. So you have two batch to okay okay. So we have the uh, we create the table batch with the ID and name. Then I'm gonna create the table create table uh, students as ID um, int primary key okay. Then um, um, student names um, variable character fifty. Then student address, let's say, uh, variable characters, let's say 100. Then student badge, um, um, int primary key, sorry, int. Okay. And then foreign key, okay. foreign key, um, uh, foreign key is S badge. Okay. The foreign key is, is S badge. And it's references, references to uh, badge, BID. Okay. Then we insert into students values. Okay, insert into students. Sorry, yep, student one. Uh, students one. Then this one is in class one. Okay, we're gonna insert some more students. Uh, student two, student three, student two, student two, two, student three. Okay, three. Then um, um, two of the first students is in class one and two of the second students are in class two. Okay, two of the first students in class one and two of the second students uh, uh, and, and the last students is in class two. Okay. Then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Select this. We we gonna execute it one by one in order to avoid errors. Okay, we're gonna execute each statement at a time to uh, uh, in order to avoid errors. To see if we have some errors, then you should avoid it. Okay, so I'm gonna select. I'm gonna select this and execute. So successfully. Okay, I'm gonna select this one, execute, 
then we insert the student successfully then I'm gonna select the create table statement execute remember to execute um, uh, the uh, this button to run selected uh, uh, statements only click Oh, uh, which one? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. So I already executed this one already, and here there is a missing address field over here. Exactly, address field over here. So we need to put address field over here. Okay. That's why I I was uh, telling you to just run one at a time. So if we have this error, then we're gonna start from here. Okay. So this one is um address address one okay this one is address this one is address two and this one is address three okay this one is address one address two and address three then we select all of them execute once more okay so after these steps you successfully created the database. You successfully created the database. Okay? You successfully created the database. Okay? I'm gonna pause these videos and, and we're gonna uh, continue uh, in next videos in order to avoid uh, very long videos. Okay? okay. There is no icon here for me to stop that video recording. Hmm. Sorry, let me stop the recording. I see no icon to stop the video recording. Okay. Here.